Do I need some more stuff? Trying to grab you some. Well, this was a trap out, folks, and I'm concerned as a laying worker hive. I actually bought a queen cell this morning for it. If it is laying worker hive, they'd try to kill a queen if you put her in there. Not much you you want do. that frame rest? Uh, sure. I get it. Okay. It's down there toward the end. It's a, a hive that's gone queenless for whatever reason, and sometimes a, a worker will, they, they have the ability to lay eggs, um, but they're not, they're sterile, you know. And so, and all of they, all of they can lay is drone stuff. So but they're not. The drones are are, are unfurled. From 25 years ago. Yeah, I lost 34 in the last two months. And I don't know why, but for some reason, a uh, land worker. You got a hive that has a land worker. It, it's it's really to tough to, to get them to okay. accept the point. Do you want? Oh, um, here, the one in the red most shirt. Most of the time, if we I'll tell you the story. One, we'll just consider it dead out. Go on. We just shake the bees out of it and, uh, and just set it aside. And either I mean, it depends on how. You, most time, if it's a laying worker, the hive's not going to be very strong, you know, because the, the, the workforce has gone down. The red honey? That's because of hummingbird feed. There he is. Razorback, razorback fans, razorback bees. <laughs> And that real spotty drone pattern is definitely a sign of a laying worker. I'm not even sure they'll take a sale. I put this egg frame in the fifth last Saturday. Yeah, or that's, it, it is. And the only reason I'm going to try to salvage it instead of dumping them on the ground like Avon was talking about is because there's so many bees in it. There's quite a few. If I can get them to take a queen, I'll have a pretty good start on a good hive. Is this one queenless? It's, it's also a laying worker. <coughs> um, I'm not 100% convinced yet. Yeah. How do you know that? Well, we're, that's what we're looking at right now. So I what suspected it was uh, that uh, <laughs> they the queen cell that I had seen, they had tore it down. And immediately right after that, I saw a bunch of eggs. It wasn't time for a queen to get out and get bred. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's laying worker. Yeah, you see all the drone brood. Well, the drone lay more than one egg sometimes. The sometimes they lay more than one egg. Okay. Yes. And when you see drone brood in a in a standard worker cell, that's not a good sign. Oh. And that's what we've got here. The Is that the raised cells? cells? Yeah, the raised cells are, are drone brood in laying worker yeah. cells or in worker feet? cells. The drone cells stand out. They stand out. It's oh. just it's regular drone cells. They're like bullets. Right. So what are you looking up? for? That's a pretty serious lane work. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know if they'll even take a sale. I know, but is this is the third week on a brood frame. What's his name? So how long? Yeah, we're going to have to get him out. Eamon, what are you looking for? Eamon, what are you looking for? Until they die. I'm I'm looking at some of this brood just doesn't look doesn't look right. I mean, you see the real spotty brood pattern, um, and and those are all drone cells, but there's some larvae in there that. that doesn't look right to me, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I'm seeing there. Um, what were you? Probably because it's a worker lobby. A color thing. It's a color and a yeah. Drone everywhere and that little opaque color. Yeah. And well, some of them are, are dead and kind of dried up, almost like chalk brew. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see that. Yeah. You probably, probably, yes. and, and it's impossible if it is a laying worker. There's no way of telling which one it is. Yeah, but how would you put a queen in there? If you, you will. You. They will kill a queen if you try to put a queen yeah. in. Yeah. If you put one in there and leave it in the cage for like so long and like give, doesn't matter. Not even if you put another brood cell now, in with her. Michael yeah. Bush, uh, I think he's on V Source or wherever his source of information is. Bush Farms has got a method, it's really probably the only successful method of dealing with one, that's putting a frame of brood in right. once a week for three weeks in a row to, not the yeah, to change there. that lane worker behavior. Oh, the right. brood pheromone itself is one of the factors, 
brood pheromone and lack of queen substance pheromone are the two things that will cause the workers to start laying. And this is the frame of brood you put in there, I'm guessing. Uh, yes. And they kind of yeah. say that, that they kind of take up with the queen more because no they're sales. not already with that hive. Yeah. Mm, so in some, you know, another sign of a laying worker is that the eggs, when the queen deposits an egg, it'll be all the way in the bottom of the cell. And uh, sometimes the laying worker won't quite get her butt all the way down in there, and you'll find them on the side of the cell walls, and I'm seeing that a little bit. And it's and it's fairly spotty, the pattern, egg laying pattern. I don't know if I'll, it's pretty serious. I don't know if I'll take a cell or not. What I'm going to try to do is put a queen cell in it. They won't take a queen, but they sometimes they'll take a queen cell. Do you think they would, Eamon? Uh, it's, it's possible. Yeah. I've, we've never really even... It's so difficult, we don't even mess with them, really. It is difficult, but I've wasted three frames of brood trying to change it, so mm -hmm. I'm going to attempt the queen cell this morning. Let me get those cells. That is a queen cup. We operate under the philosophy of uh, concentrate on the strong ones. You know, the weak ones, you can spend tons of money and tons of time trying to figure out what's wrong with it. And, uh, what would you do with this hive? Oops, didn't mean to step on you. No problem. Would you try to combine it with, a, with another hive? You could. Well, it, there, it's... Or is it just... You if you just combine this hive in another hive with a queen, they'll kill the queen. Yeah. You got the only thing that you can do. You got two things. You can put that frame brood in once a week for three weeks, or you can take these bees out twenty or thirty yards out here and dump them on the ground, mm -hmm. shake all the bees off, take the box away, and let them fend for themselves. And they'll find a new home. And that's what most of your big commercial oh, that, guys do. They just dump them. Right? They'll just dump them out and take the box away. Oh, we and don't mess with them because there's so much trouble. It's one of the hardest things we deal with in beekeeping. Yeah, we just cons yeah, I mean, we, we consider it mainly a, a dead out. Yeah, it's a, yeah, consider it a dead out, like Eamon said. What? Uh, what the queen died in that? No, it never had a queen. This was a trap out that I, I made a mistake in not putting a, a frame of brood in soon enough. Yeah, there's girls. Put a queen cell in there now? Well, yeah, sometimes they'll accept out. a queen cell where they won't accept a queen. Uh, and until the drones are not going to live on their own. They don't do, you know, and so. Do what? Just cut, cut the cell off or pull it off? Uh, these are, came from a thing. queen breeder and they're raised on a, oh. uh, a bar. I've seen them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got the Hold on. I'd like to look at that. Okay. It's just a queen cell that's due to hatch within 24 to. Huh? It's a time to think to get that. Yes. It, this, these queen cells will hatch within 24 to 36 hours. <laughs> So, they, they, kill her, they, they may know. kill her. They may. But and this is about the only hope I have. How do they put it on top of the frame? No, I said just push it into the side of the frame. You can just set it right in between the frame. Yeah, I could. I think I'll do that. Yeah. I'm just going to set it right in there. Some people do it themselves. They put it on a board. They just make their own food. So Tom, did you just press that flat part? Yeah, I just made sure it was stable, that's all. Wouldn't turn sideways. Queen cells are really pretty delicate, you gotta be real careful with them. So it's in there horizontally now? No, it's in there straight up and down, vertical, yes. How long will it take for you know that they accept it? Oh, I see. Uh, when I check it again in, in uh, you know, in a few days, I'm, there's gonna be a lot of drone. If I do get a queen, there'll be a lot of drone in this hive until until she starts laying and producing producing brood. So this is going to be a long process. It's or not she a. She's to do her flight and then come back and lay eggs too. Though. It doesn't matter. Well, would you be better off feeding that hive right there? I'm not going to mess with it. I'm a, if they take the queen cell, fine. If they don't, I'm going to dump them out there on the ground and take the box home. <laughs> there's there's enough honey in there. There's, there's quite a bit of them. The, the workers, even though they're laying, they'll, will, they'll still collect nectar and they'll work and build wax and collect nectar. And each of them still have their own job. They just don't right. have a queen. They just don't have a queen right. and and the hive would eventually die out. So this is just a, it's a last ditch effort. If they take her fine and, and I'll, you know, in a few weeks, uh, things will turn around. 
I have been successful in the past with this. This has happened once or twice to me. But um, it's, a, it's a gamble and it's a headache. And like Eamon said, most of your commercial guys can just consider it a dead out and they'll just dump the bees out and go. Take, you got to take the box away if you do that. Right, because they'll right. come back to the box. Because they'll come back to the box, right. right. It, it, everything I 